What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and once again I'm back to talk to you guys about Warhammer 40k. Now this video is a response to the video that I did yesterday covering the new... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> like the new way that GW is trying to get people to get into their stores and buy and get into the hobby. So they did two new things, and that was making a single model free each month for hobbyists that go to an actual brick and mortar Warhammer store. So that's interesting for two reasons. One, obviously you got COVID going on, so not many people are going to want to venture out and brave Nurgle's diseases to go to the store for just one single miniature and not just that but not every place has a warhammer store nearby that they could just drive to without you know breaking the bank on gas or going to a whole different country so that's another thing too and on top of it it's like it's only a free like a free model just a single model and it's going to be different and I'm pretty sure it's going to be limited amounts so if they run out and you make the trek and they don't have any tough luck <laughs> that really sucks I mean don't get me wrong this tactic works um, just look at drug dealers <laughs> you know here's a free sample man and eventually you get hooked and uh, I want to say that actually happened with Gersh one like it wasn't the the legit time we actually got into 40k, but I believe he said he was walking by the Warhammer store at a mall back then, and somebody said, oh, here's like a little orc model to kind of get him into the hobby. It didn't work that time, but it worked the second time when he was with me, and it, we actually got into the store, and we looked at a game of orcs versus space wolves. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's they do it like at Whole Foods, the whole like, oh, here's a sample, and then here's the box that you can buy afterwards. So this tactic is shown to work, but is it too little, too late? It might just be, especially when you look at the other thing that they're offering, a free pot of paint with the purchase of nine other ones. Come on, man. Like I could have thought it made more sense if it was just one free model and one free pot of paint so that way you can paint the model that you've got for free and you can begin the hobby side of 40k that revolves around building and painting which is a pretty big part of the hobby when you ask me but that's tied to buying nine other pots of paint when these paints are pretty expensive at like four or five bucks each so you're already shelling out about $40 US plus tax to just get one free pot of paint. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's probably a, a good investment if you want GW um, paints and if you're going to be painting and building your own army because tabletop ready models require at least three colors. So when you get like the base coat, the primer, um, like known oil, contrast, your three colors, you're already at around, you know, seven to ten uh, different colors that you're going to need. So I guess it makes sense in that way. But still, though, that, that's kind of, uh, I don't know. Now, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to get people to buy GW, go to GW stores, when there's other hobby stores out there that generally sell GW at like 10% off, 15% off, 20% off. So this is GW's way to kind of beat those other hobby stores and get people from going to that store to their store. And I don't know, like I said earlier, it's too little, it's too late. I don't think it's going to work as well as they think it is. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely going to bring in people, but not enough. Because a lot of policies at GW stores state that you strictly have to play with GW miniatures. And that means no conversions, no third party, strictly GW. And I don't know about you guys, but my armies aren't 100% GW. Look at my Chaos Marines. I've got models from my Creature Caster. I've even sprinkled in some like 
Night Haunt conversions into it. Yes, that's, you know, Warhammer Age of Sigmar into my Warhammer 40k models, but sometimes they're not, they're, not, they're not okay with this. Sometimes this might not be the case for your local GW store. So, if that is the case, you know, make sure you call ahead, you, you know, go in and ask, hey, is it okay if I could bring in, etc. Um, but again, for policy, I don't think that's allowed. However, most hobby shops are okay with this. So that might be another reason as to why you might go to your hobby shop instead of your local GW. Also a counter that I've been hearing to the free paints and the free model is if you're brand new to the hobby that's the only way you get the model. If you're brand new to 40k like not many people are just gonna walk into a 40k store and say you know what I'm gonna start this. Like the prices are gonna turn you off the work and like overall time spent to actually start playing 40k may turn some people off so I could understand that you know just right off the bat 40k may not seem as appealing to other games for example you know I could spend 500 bucks on a new PlayStation 5 and have fun with my friends and whatnot with online gaming where if I spend 500 bucks on GW stuff I still gotta clip them off the sprue I gotta, you know, glue them and model them. I gotta paint them. I gotta get the codex. I gotta get, you know, my army situated and ready. And then I gotta find somebody else in real life to play with when COVID is a thing. So that's gonna be turning off a lot of people, especially if you only have this free model for brand new players. If anything, it makes more sense to give it to people who are already into the hobby and they're just like, oh no, maybe I'm like two or three models short um, and I just need one model to just cover for this game. That could be your free model to you know, put you at full strength for a squad or something like that. Another thing too is that free model might be free after you purchase something else. And most GW kits aren't pretty cheap. So you're going to be shelling out like 30 to 50 bucks for a, a box set and you get one free model that you may never even use. So again, it's like kind of iffy. It all depends on how each store is run. Um, if the manager is in a good mood, maybe. But I don't know. I've, it, it sounds a little fishy. Um, again, the phrase of this video is, is it too good to be true? Is it too little too late? Like, I know GW, they're doing good. I think their profits are increasing each and every year. That's why they're spreading to more um, outside sources, such as like Marvel. They're doing like action figures with Bandai, that kind of thing. So from what it looks like is they're doing well. We got new Indominus box sets that came with all brand spanking new sculpts for the Primaris half at least, and the Necrons, yeah. So they're doing good it's not like they're you know losing money on this um, but we'll just have to wait and see maybe this is just the beginning of something better like I always thought that would make sense if you got like a reward system where maybe after you purchase a hundred dollars worth of GW stuff you get like a ten dollar off coupon anything to keep people buying GW and supporting them but at the same time, it's like, yeah, if you have your local gaming store, your local hobby shop that you go with your friends and whatnot, you also want to support that too. So it's kind of hard to decide where you want to, you know, throw your money at. But at the end of the day, GW is the ones that started this awesome hobby and made it as to what it is today. So I think we should support them, but at the same time, not to the expense of the players, if that makes sense. So again, let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, your ideas, your stance on if this is a good idea or if it's going to make you a little bit more hesitant to purchase GW. Because again, it does kind of seem like they're not forcing, but kind of encouraging people to come to their stores when there's a freaking pandemic, a lockdown going on. So it doesn't really make much sense, but uh, I don't know. It, it, it is what it is, I guess. So in your opinion, is it too little, too late? Let me know down in the comments, and we'll keep the conversation going there. 
As always, guys, this has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I will be catching you guys in the next one. Peace.